Hello everyone, welcome to Neko Lord in Nerdland. Yippee yay, yay, today it's whatever Wednesday and today's topic is cosplay. So I'll present to you one of the best known cosplay magazines in the world. It's the Cosmode. The first issues were called Cosmo, so that's just an example, but now it's called Cosmode. To show you what is in there, I'll, uh, well, just show you. It normally starts with some photo shoots of only one person. After that, normally there's a section of um, conventions or events or something like this, which is here. And everywhere or on, on every, uh, almost every person or costume you see that there's a picture of the whole person and then a close-up of their details. So, okay, that's the convention part. So, and you always uh, have a part into in the magazine with concept art so that you can um, create your next cosplays with uh, very detailed concepts. For example, this is Hexine. Uh, here you see it's a very old one because I don't know if Hexine is um, that popular right now. And you also have blueprints for uh, some costumes. Here you see this one shall be done and here's the blueprint. And because it's a pre-owned issue there are no blueprints in there anymore. You also have makeup tips to prepare the best way for your next cosplay. So, I have two examples. This is, as I said, the first issue and just a random pick, issue number 45. And here you also can see the blueprints which are inserted in every issue. And it's the same way. It starts with photo shots And after that, the first convention or event pictures. You can easily get the Cosmode almost everywhere in Japan and almost every uh, manga or comic based shop you will find it. And also out of Japan, it's uh, very easy to get. Just ask your local manga or comic store uh, if they can import it for you. It's very easy to get and especially when you're in Japan on a trip um, I recommend you to get some of the older ones even if they are pre-owned they're still in a perfect shape as you've seen um, the Cosmo uh, my first issue is a pre-owned one but it's in a perfect shape I recommend Book Off there you can get uh, the best and the most ones and also uh, for a good price Especially the one in Ikebukuro is one of the best. They got a huge collection. I guess when I was there the last time, they had uh, 20 issues or even more. And as you can see also here, there's the makeup section. And well, here it is. Um, there's also a blueprint for. No costume, but a uh, costume prop, which is a... I guess it's a rabbit. <laughs> and also other stuff, I think this shall be uh, armor part. But well, well, most of the techniques that are shown here can be used for other props as well. And here also have some, some um, advices how to prepare perfectly for a photo shot. Great, or, or the best perspective and so on. And also a small comic, which I guess nobody's really reading, but that's okay. And also here's the concept art part. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's Street Fighter. That's great. No, it wasn't Street Fighter. It was uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, I guess. And something Saya... Sen Senseiya, whatever. <laughs> yeah. And here's the part with the costumes uh, and how to um, how to sue them 
and all of the blueprints you have here. So also some tips I guess for uh, eye lenses and some makeup tips, wig style tips and this is one part which came later it's a part uh, where international cosplayers are shown or uh, featured uh, I s even see some German ones Canadian ones American well there are there are um, many countries so uh, cosplay is uh, very famous in, in uh, the whole world so okay that's all for now so I've shown you the Cosmo or the Cosmode and I hope you liked it uh, I hope you like cosplay overall if you want me to show anything more about cosplay or Cosmodes or as I said cosplay in general well just leave a comment below the video and then I'll see what I can do for you I hope you enjoyed the uh, cosplay topic today on whatever Wednesday in my show Neko Lord in Nerdland and I hope to see you soon and bye bye